All right, it is Wednesday evening. Sleep and work. I have a truck. I have a trailer. We're gonna go pick up the Cadillac tonight, and uh, we're gonna do an oil change on this truck because uh, it needs one. So I'm headed to AutoZone. I'm gonna pick up some oil. We're gonna pick up a couple other goodies that we need for the trip, and uh, we'll go get the car. Getting ready for Hot Rod Power Tour. Doing an oil change on the tow rig. Be there tomorrow. All right, we got the Cadillac loaded up on the trailer. Sam helped out, big thanks to him. We are gonna go home and get some sleep. We're hitting the road at 5 a.m. Hopefully we'll be in Vegas by around noon. We have a few things to do while we are in Vegas. We're gonna get the carburetor tuned, maybe look at some timing and uh, change your power steering pump. So those three things, in addition to little odds and ends, like making the front seats semi-comfortable. So how'd it go, Sam? It's pretty good. Uh, nice and chilly out here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like in the low, low 30s. So we're going to go home. Bye. It's 5.30 in the morning. We are checking the straps, making sure everything's good. Cadillac is up on the thing. Hey, look, there's Sam. We are headed out to Vegas this morning. We'll be there in a couple hours. And we just want to make sure that our straps are good and uh, that she's not going anywhere. So it's going to be a good day. We have a lot of stuff to do today. We just gotta get there. Let's get there first. six miles into our trip and uh, everything's been good so far so we're gonna go to my dad's house we're gonna drop this thing off we have a few things to do to the Cadillac before the end of the day and then at two o'clock we're gonna go see our tuning friend that is gonna help us with the carburetor In fact, it was 5.8. There we go. <clears throat> All right, we'll pull that off. We'll clean it up. We can press that. Um, it says it'll come out on the bolt of the line. This is the power steering pump bracket that uh, has been leaking for an undisclosed amount of time. And this all right here. Very good. It's very uh, disgusting. <laughs> How many of your neighbors make YouTube videos in their front yard? <laughs> um, hey. Hey, oh, oh, what? We have a problem. You want to put it in something? No, I'm hold gonna it. hold it right here. Hit it. It might damage it. Okay. You need another socket or something. I think I have a punch. Punch it. I would laugh so hard if it just fell out. <laughs> Damn. Did you put it on the right direction so it spins in the right direction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it now it's good backwards. <laughs> Great. It's gonna squeal again. That looks like it'll stop. That looks stop to me. This is gonna be a we're gonna have to bend this. And this one. You have a bender? I got big strong arms. Directions? Oh, Man, when all else fails. 
No secure S-12P. <laughs> hey, this really easy to change the fuel pump if you take the power steering out. Now we know if we need to do it. This would be pretty neat to figure out why the throttle sticks. Yeah. No, I agree with you. It would be nice not to have to have that problem. Hopefully, don't believe. It's funny because he goes, do you have um, power steering fluid? And I said, transmission fluid? He goes, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole gallon of it. All right, power steering pump is back in the car. It doesn't make uh, outrageous noise anymore. So we're gonna go take this over to the uh, carburetor guy. He's gonna tune it up so we can actually drive this thing. Good morning, it is 6.40 in the morning. Uh, we are out here getting ready to leave. I'm gonna try to start the car, get it warmed up a little bit. It's, I think, about 40 degrees in Vegas right now, so um, I'm gonna try to warm it up just so we are not freezing our butts off. And then we'll head out to California. So hopefully everything goes well. It's, uh, it's gonna be, uh, I think, about a four and a half hour drive in this car, so. Um, should be okay. Here we go. It started. First shot. That's uh, way better than it ever has before. So Paul really killed it on the uh, on the carburetor. So we'll see how it goes. We're on our way. Sam's back here cleaning the window. Oh, and we're on our way. To the room break on? I sure did. Figure that out. I did. Yeah. Well, the backup camera doesn't work. Yeah, backup camera is not working. <laughs> Yeah. All right. See so, ya. Yeah, there's Mike. Bye, Mike. Do the road show. Ow. Get gas before we start. Yeah, we probably should. That's a good idea. Do you notice how warm it is in here? It's toasty. It's so good. <laughs> Sam's warm back here. Sam's just chilling in the oh, back. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're gonna get gas and then we're gonna hit the road. All right, we're coming up to uh, Prim. Everything's driving really nice. Temperatures are good, oil pressure's good, so it's a little loud in here. These wing windows don't like shut, so we're gonna stop and uh, tape them up in Prim and uh, continue on. Put some tape on the wing windows on both sides just to uh, try to keep some of the sound out and the wind, and uh, we'll get back on the road. Falling into Baker, we lost a couple of pounds of oil pressure, but uh, still at 180 degrees of water temp. So we're still doing great. We're gonna stop and get some breakfast in uh, Baker real quick and then keep on going. Okay, we're rolling into Barstow area. Everything is going okay. Uh, we have a small hum that has developed in the drivetrain, but we're gonna ignore that for a while. So I thought it was an exhaust leak. It's actually not an exhaust leak. What's going on is, it's hard to see, right here, there's a hole in the car plate. That's good. Luckily, the Napa that we pulled into has a new spacer plate and hopefully some gaskets and we can get back on the road. Um, and hopefully we don't have this problem again. That would that'd be good. All right, they, uh, they didn't have the spacer, but they do have a thick uh, gasket, which might get us where we need to go. So we'll change it out, see how it works, and hopefully we can get out of here. Oh. Did this happen? Don't we have another spacer plate trunk? We have the adapter. It smoked the bottom gasket. 
the bottom gasket that was here. You know how it has that crossover tube? Yeah. It wasn't crossing over and it would it just burned the hole in there. Um does it even need to be? I, I would assume that it burned a hole in it. The new gasket has a slot all the way around. I just it's an adapter or it's the installation gasket that's a thick one. Yeah. bolt pattern in this and then these bolts long story short crossover tube that goes underneath the carburetor is causing us to have a huge vacuum leak and it's what melted our carb spacer so we are gonna drill and tap it put some plugs in there and make sure that we don't have that problem anymore and hopefully we can get back on the road and we don't have to worry about this anymore you want the uh, pick <laughs> Is this rough in there? All the way into the... Did you get that on? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Found it! We're gonna tap these holes and uh, we were gonna plug them, but when we originally measured, there was a bunch of carbon in here. And when we tried to do the tap, it just pulled all the carbon out. And so we tried to set the screw and all the carbon broke out and it fell in the hole. We got here to Napa because we thought we had an exhaust leak. We were gonna tighten everything up, hit the road. We just pulled into the Napa parking lot just in case. Well, luckily we pulled into a Napa parking lot. We realized that, Sam, can I have that uh, carb piece? Yeah this carb spacer notice there's a hole in it there's a hole there's also a hole on this side right here so what's going on is there's a crossover tube that does some vacuum stuff on the stock manifold the problem is that it's getting too hot in there when it's when it's running at full throttle it's getting too warm and it actually dissolved all of this plastic spacer so we were getting a really nasty vacuum leak and it sounded like an exhaust leak. We tried a different gasket. We tried the stock style riser gasket. That didn't work. It still leaves that area open. We tried an adapter spacer. That didn't work. That also left a different spot open. What we are doing now is we were going to tap it and just plug the holes because that's what a lot of people do. The problem is where it is and the situation we're in, we don't have the right plug. We don't have the right tap and the tap that we can get doesn't fit in the hole enough to get it started. My dad just left in an Uber down to a welding shop and we're gonna hope that they have the technology to weld cast iron enough that uh, we can plug those holes with some weld and bolt everything back together and we can hit the road. It wouldn't be fun if we didn't have drama. Hopefully we can just put the standard like quarter inch gasket deal on and we can hit the road because I'm tired of sitting here. My fingers are crossed. I just have to pick up a roll pan for the Buick too. Forgot about that. That'll be good. If any luck, we'll get there and we'll be able to check in. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're at an undisclosed location. <laughs> That's uh, we're. We have a friend that is uh, helping us out and he's gonna weld up these holes for us so we don't have this vacuum leak anymore. We'll get back on the road. Better. We're back on the road. 
we're gonna get gas because we have a half tank but we don't really know what the gas gauge does on this thing so we're gonna put gas in it it's currently 321 in california in barstow where you have to get to irwindale california which in theory is only about an hour and a half but uh hopefully we beat all the traffic in the mess probably not but. a little longer than a few minutes later that's out i need a I'm assuming this is an original fuel pump. It's very old. It's got 100,000 miles on it. It hit the yeah, bed on the road. Luckily, we have another one. We're gonna put it on there. Let's see how it goes. We did in traffic on our way in Irwindale. Um, GPS says we'll be there at 6:15. We need to check in before six. So hopefully, we can make up some time. I don't know about that, but maybe they'll be gracious with us and let us check in late. But uh, we're still working our way in. We should be there right at the cutoff, so we'll see how it goes. We're uh, pulling into Irwindale. We'll see what they say. Uh, it's what time is it? 6.30. 6 6 29. 6.30, exactly. <laughs> so hopefully they'll let us in, but we'll see what happens. All right, um, we're here, but nobody else is, so that's a bummer. Day one down. Uh, at least we made it. So we're going to go pick up a roll pan for the Buick and uh get some dinner go to the hotel and we'll meet up again at seven when they're gonna leave here so oh well good morning it is 6 12 in the morning uh we are good to go here cars running we got all packed up we wrapped up at the hotel we're gonna hit the gas station real quick, just fill this thing up, and then we're gonna head over to Irwindale, see if we can meet up with the Hot Rod Power Tour guys, and maybe, fingers crossed, they'll give us our credentials for yesterday, but we will see. Hopefully we can do that because I want that plaque. If we can't, then we can't, but that's okay. Right. We uh, we made it to Irwindale in the morning. There's quite a few people here. Uh, no sign of anyone from Hot Rod though, so we'll see if we can get our credentials if they show up. If not, then We'll just hit the road and get there before everybody else. There's nobody from Hot Rod here, but we're all leaving, so we'll see what we can do. We have uh, witnesses that we were here, so well, fingers crossed. we were yesterday when we uh, ended up taking the whole top of the engine apart uh, we're doing well so far not too bad we're with a bunch of friends today and uh, cruising along so we'll get there we're at the uh, checkpoint for the chips We'll see if I can swindle someone into giving me a credential and maybe some chips. We did it! We got poker chips. We're hitting the road again. Calling into Baker, California, home of the world's largest fake thermometer. Um, we're still cruising at about 80 miles an hour. Temps and oil pressure are good. We're still getting, uh, I think we're passing a couple people still. So we're gonna go get gas at Brim and then roll into the speedway. We made it most of the way up uh, Baker grade. Um, we are starting to get a little bit of uh, fuel cut out um, going up the last little section here. So we just pulled over into this parking lot. Uh, we're gonna change the fuel filter cause it's pretty gummed up with junk. Cause who knows what's in this thing. Uh, we brought three extra filters, so we're going to change them out real quick and then get back on the road. 
Okay, change fuel filter out. It was pretty full of junk. Uh, it's all running good now. We're gonna go put some gas in it real quick just to be sure we can get to Vegas and then uh, we'll be good. Well, we made it, uh, I don't know, five miles from our fast thing. And uh, this hub's a little, little hot. So we pulled the jack out and uh, <coughs> this tire doesn't want to move very much. So we're gonna see if it's the brakes or if it's the hubs. So uh, it's definitely bearings. This bearing's pretty toast. It took us 10 minutes of beating on it with a hammer, but we got it off. Uh, the outer race and bearing were just shot. So we're gonna see if we can get this off. We pulled everything off. We have uh, quite a mess on our hands, but our pit crew in Vegas is gonna come bring us some parts and hopefully we can get back on the road and maybe we can make it to the racetrack before they close today and get our credentials. So fingers crossed. The wheel bearing failed and welded the inner race onto the spindle. So our guy in Vegas is gonna go and grab a cutoff wheel and some new wheel bearings. We're gonna try to cut this off, get it off of here, clean it up a little bit, put some new bearings on and hopefully we can just make it the rest of the way and uh, we'll be okay. Sitting here on the side of the road. We're waiting for our guy. Hopefully he can put this car back together when we get back on the freeway. It's only like 80 miles from here to the speedway. Might as well get a tan while we're out here. How's it going? Just hanging out on the side of the road. Yeah, a Cadillac broke down. It's a great time. It's, a, it's been a theme on this trip. It's hanging out and waiting. Yep. Mike's here. We had toys. All right, let's put this thing back together. All right, I wish I had better news. This, this is under here. The top was literally welded on, so I had to grind it all off try to clean it up best I can. We got the bearing to go back on. So it's not pretty, it's smooth though. So I'm not super worried about it. The bearing fits on and off pretty good. We're gonna put it all back together and it should be fine, but that was a good time. Here's what's left of the outer bearing. They're uh, all welded together into pieces, so. Well, she's back on the road again. Got her put back together, and uh, we're off. Las Vegas Mars Speedway, here we come. We made it, and they're gonna probably give us credentials, but we'll still have to decide if we're gonna drive this to Pomona or not because that'll be an interesting day. Yeah. Anyway, we're here. We're gonna go get our credentials and our stiff. They gave us long hauler passes. So, now we have the important decision of how or if we drive this to Pomona tomorrow, because it is stumbling a little bit. It's not super happy. But, that being said, we're here and we have the opportunity. All right, we made it to Vegas for a power tour. 
They gave us a check-in for Irwindale, uh, even though we missed check-in by an hour and a half. They let us, they let us punch. So, the cool thing is that we now are eligible for the long hauler, which is why we're doing this in the first place. The problem is the car still, I think we're having like vapor locking issues or something like that. It, it wants to stumble every now and then. It's kind of inconsistent. We can't really pinpoint it. And uh, it seems to be warm when that happens. So we are going to probably throw this car on a trailer and trailer it down to Pomona, offload it, drive it into the show, and then we will drive it back um, on the trailer. I think that will solve our problems. We will still get our uh, long hauler deal um, and we'll just have a way of getting the car to and from without having to break it more because we're really good at that so far. So it's going to be a day. We're pretty beat. It's now five o'clock. We're going to go get something to eat and relax for the rest of the night. It is uh, day two of power tour, three. but day three for us. <laughs> um, yeah, we're in the truck. We uh, Cadillac's on the trailer back there. We are just gonna cruise down to Pomona, have a nice easy day, and then go unload the car in the uh, parking lot of the hotel. Just drive it into the show from there. Um, Sam's still here, Dad's still here. We're gonna cruise down. It's a very uneventful drive so far because uh, we're in a nice truck. Cadillac's running great. It's on the trailer back there. And uh, we're just gonna keep going. We made it to the pit stop here at Peggy Sue's Diner in Barso. It's nice to have air conditioning and radio and all that stuff. So it's been a good time. We're just stopping here to stretch our legs. We got our poker chips. We are gonna head on out to Pomona. Should be about, uh, about an hour and a half, maybe two hours from here. So pretty quick drive, should be all right. Nice and comfortable. And we'll see you when we get there. a proper trip through Barstow if you didn't stop and get Del Taco. So we stopped and got Del Taco because we're going to be too early tomorrow to really enjoy it. So we'll grab it now. We are in Pomona area. We're going to stop real quick at AutoZone and get some uh, detailer spray for this car, also known as Brake Clean, and maybe a few other goodies. And we're heading into the show. made it to the hotel, got the car unloaded. We're gonna just take our bags in and go back to the show. We made it to Pomona. Uh, the car ran great off the trailer. We just drove right in, no problem. Uh, we got our Proka chips, so we're gonna go grab all that stuff, all our goodies, and uh, enjoy the day. We'll show you what's here. We made it. They punched our card off. We got an X. We got a cool banner thing. Yeah. So 
We are official. We are the Long Hauler Club. I'm glad that we made it. It took a lot of work, but we got here. We're grateful for all of you that watch along. Had a great time doing it. Had some troubles, but it's part of having fun. We'll be back next year with some more toys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. We're going to enjoy the show, and we'll talk to you later. We are wrapping up the day. Our group of friends left. We pretty much watched whatever we want to watch and gone through what we want to go through. Successful trip. Let us get the uh, long hauler award, even though we didn't do the last leg, but we did a pre-leg, so I feel justified in that. We're gonna go uh, back to the hotel, get some food, relax, and we leave early tomorrow morning to head back to Vegas and drop that off and then head back to Utah. Thanks for watching along. This event's been really fun. Definitely recommend anyone that uh, likes cars just bring whatever you drive just come out here and run these kinds of events and participate i mean there's guys here in stock f-150s and stock camaros and i just now for the first time saw the first buick on this trip way over there with a the surfboard so it's a full thing anyway see ya Morning. It's a little bit before 5.30 here in Pomona. Uh, we're getting gas and we're gonna hit the road back to Vegas and back to Utah. We stopped at Peggy Sue's. We're hungry. Yay! We made it to Vegas. We're dropping Dad off. Bye, Dad. See ya. Have See ya. A little while. Home. Cars on the trailer, we're ready to go, hitting the road. We're back in the shop, we made it. Sands here. Yep. Uh, Cadillac's back in the shop, everything's good. It has been quite a weekend, but we accomplished our goals. We put like 600 miles on the Cadillac. It still runs pretty good. I mean, we still have to figure out that vapor locking issue if we wanted to keep it like this, but we're gonna just tear it all apart and uh, put a supercharged LS in there and some other goodies. So for now, it'll stay like this. We're gonna put it over in storage for a couple weeks. We're gonna bring the Buick over here and do the motor on that. Thanks for following along with our crazy shenanigans. We will do more soon and uh, we'll bring them to you when we do them. Thanks.